Hello everybody out there in the bookverse, it's Stephanie and today I'm back with another focused book review and this time I am going to be talking about The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna and this is a book that came in an Owlcrate box and it was, was it Owlcrate or Fairloo? I forget every time. It came in one of the book boxes that I'm subscribed to and this is actually an arc of this book. It doesn't come out until next year and I was super super excited about it because I honestly never get arcs and this is I think the first one that I've ever gotten maybe the second I think actually we've got another one in another book box but this is the second arc I've ever gotten and the first one that I've actually ever read so this was a big deal for me this book follows a young girl who lives in a world where being a woman is definitely a lesser status than a man and being a woman you are at risk of bleeding gold and being unpure. And they test these girls when they turn 16 by cutting them and seeing if their blood is pure or not. And if it bleeds gold, then they are killed. And this young girl on her day is tested and bleeds gold. So it kind of follows her after that happens and everything that comes from there. I don't want to give spoilers because it is a really good book and very interesting for you to learn about as you go. So some things that I wasn't a huge fan of in this book was the training process that they went through. So she's trained to be this fighter and this warrior and it is so fast. It's like she starts training and then she's the best fighter like they all are. All of them are just like automatically amazing fighters and these boss killing machines. And I get that they have like extra strong powers being these like the gilded ones, these golden blooded people. But it's really like they didn't have to train at all. What's the point in the training if these guys are going to be automatically amazing at it? Like, I don't know. I just felt like that was a little too easy and it wasn't something that I enjoyed in the book. I don't really like that. I like to see the training time and the work and the effort put in to becoming amazing fighters and these like really, really boss women. And I thought it was too rushed, too quick. And they were just, I they were there like a month and they were already going out on these raids and like being boss. And I'm I don't know. I just wasn't a huge, huge fan of that. I wanted more time in the training. I also would have liked more world development. I feel like a lot of my complaints with this book were things were a little underdeveloped. They were a little rushed. There wasn't enough time taken with some of the stuff in here. So the world is extremely interesting. They're in this world where they are definitely separated by what area that you are born in. And there are these goddesses that used to exist, but you're no longer allowed to worship them because they were these terrible people people who just like killed and were horrible but then there's this group that still worships them and the men are definitely in charge and are it's such a patriarchal society that being a woman is so frowned upon and like you're treated terribly for being a woman so it was a really really interesting world and the magic in it was definitely underdeveloped as well I think this is going to be a series. So that's something that I am interested in learning more about is this world that we're in here. But I just feel like it was very underdeveloped in this book. And I would have liked to spend a little more time with that. It was just a little too rushed for my taste. And also, I felt like almost the whole storyline, not the whole thing, part needed to happen. But a lot of the things that happened in this book felt kind of pointless when I got to the end and the big finale happened I just felt like it did not need to happen the way it did there it didn't really make sense why that was required to get to our ultimate end point that we needed to get to and that frustrated me a lot and I I would have loved it so much more if maybe it would have been better explained why it had to happen that way it just it didn't make sense to me like it could have just been avoided and we could have just done the thing that happened at the end to begin with. I really did enjoy reading this book though. Some of the things that I loved in it were our main character. I thought she was strong and amazing and she developed a lot throughout this book. She came into herself and really grew a lot and that was something I loved. I loved watching her do that because she was such a fun character to follow. This author is great at really making you feel for the characters. Like you just 
you hurt for them. Some of the things that are done to these young girls are just horrible and tragic and just absolutely messed up and evil. And you just feel so much for these characters and with these characters. And that's something that I loved about this book. It just made you so invested in their lives. And along that same character line, there's a great found family aspect to this book that I love. I love found families in books. I think it's one of my favorite things. I love seeing those dynamics, how these girls just came to find people who would love them for who they are and accept them. And it was something I absolutely loved in this book. I also thought the pacing was excellent in this book as well. It was really fast paced. I was interested. I was invested. I just kept jumping and going and I kept reading it. I read it really, really quickly because I loved it. That was really well done in here. The pacing was excellent. It drew you in right from the beginning and you just kept wanting to see where it went, how things developed, how things would work out for the characters. So that was really well done. And also I thought the villain in this was very interesting as well. It's kind of not, you don't really know exactly what's going on for the majority of the book which was awesome. I love when books can do that to me. It makes it so much more entertaining. And the villain in this was interesting. There was depth and there was things that I would like to know more about. So that is great. Ultimately, I really enjoyed this book. I think it's probably a 3.5 stars for me. It's not wow, amazing beyond anything I've ever read. Maybe four stars. I don't know probably 3.5, but I loved it. I thought it was great. It was a great YA fantasy book. I don't know how many more there are in this series, and I think that will affect whether I continue with it. If there's just one more, if it's just a duology, I'll probably continue on and read the next one. But if there's going to be a whole big old series, I don't know if I love it enough to commit to more than just a couple books. I have a lot of series that I read, and I don't know if I can make that kind of time commitment. But overall, this is a great book. Highly recommend it if you love YA fantasy and you love boss women. Definitely recommend The Gilded Ones if that sounds like something that you're into. But if you have also read this book from an arc, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're interested in reading it, let me know as well because I'd love to see other people's thoughts on it when this finally does come out. But as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, definitely hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.